Well, hey there, boys and girls. Time for another fun craft here with Crafty Carol at Cool School. I don't know if you've seen the film Frozen, but you probably have, because like a billion people have seen it already. It's a big blockbuster of the year. So let's do an Olaf-inspired craft. Snowman pencil toppers. Da -da -da. I made mine out of super simple materials. Styrofoam balls, something sticky. I got duct tape. You're gonna need a nose, but you know, not just this nose. You're gonna need a snowman nose. I made mine out of a little orange kitchen sponge. Sharpies, pencils, twisty ties, paper clips, and some cardstock and scissors. Be careful with your scissors. That wasn't safe what I just did. I could have cut someone's ponytail right off. Wouldn't have been good. But keep your ponytail out of my crafting area. Olaf is not just any typical round-headed snowman, though. I've already crafted this snowman head to look a little more like Olaf. I've got his cheeks there. You can just mash it with your thumbs. Make a nice indentation there. You can use scissors to shave some of it off and just smooth it. So what I did, I drew a couple different eyes, a couple different mouths. I'm just gonna pick which one I like the best. Get this right here. Now I'm gonna cut out the mouth. I like this mouth right here. Got her mouth, got her eyes. Looks pretty good. Once you get your eyes and your mouth, took a little paper clip and I'm twisting it and bending it out. See like this? I bent it out and I'm gonna bend this out straight. Here's where our sticky stuff comes in. Use some duct tape here, put it around the paper clip. Stick these eyes right there. Oh, and this is also handy if you're going to the opera. And I'm gonna stick the eyes. Ow! We're looking good now, because we can, you know, look. All right, so it's the exact same process for the mouth. You got our paper clip and wrap it up. Stick our mouth onto that. Oh my goodness, look how much it looks like Olaf. So what's Olaf missing now? Oh, just a, uh, I don't know. Got this orange sponge here. Cut a little piece of it like this. Just using my pencil here to make a little hole to get the nose started. Olaf is looking pretty good. There's one thing missing though. Olaf has a little sprig of hair on top. Yes, he does. So that's where our twisty ties come in. There's one little sprig, another one. And let's give him one more. One last step, and then you're uh, you're in business for being awesome. So here you go, kids. Just pretty much the best pencil topper you ever saw. Let's watch another craft. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Welcome to Cool School. Time for Arts and Crafts with Crafty Carol. You might have noticed I got a special guest star, Gia. Say hello. Hi. Gia is an expert rainbow loom crafter. We're gonna do a pattern that we learned from Made by Mommy over at her channel. Click right up there to check her out. What's today, a snowflake? And you know, Made by Mommy told us that if you change the colors, you can just make a flower. So it's a perfect winter to springtime craft. See if you can show me how to work this crazy thing because I have no clue. So what are you doing first? You're gonna t take your loom stick Twist it around three times. <laughs> All right, so I take it and I twist it around. One, two, two three. three. Then you push it down. And then push it down. All right, so that's... The first step. That's right, like that. Okay. And you're okay. gonna take just the two colors and put this on here. All right, so two. You're gonna take it like that. Okay. Push these on it. So then I move all these bands over my loom like that. Okay, and then I hook this. Oh my goodness, I think I got it. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do this six times. So I gotta do that? Six times. Six times? Yes. All right, and I gotta do it correctly six times. Yes, so you I gotta do it without off. the rubber bands popping off six times. So how long have you been doing the rainbow loom? What was the first thing that you made? A fishtail. A fishtail? Have you ever made a mermaid? I like mermaids. I do too. Probably my favorite mermaid is everybody's favorite mermaid, Ariel. Mm -hmm. Me too? Yeah. Actually, I don't even know if I know any other mermaids. All right, so how many times have you done that now? Five, this is my last one. Okay. Now when you're done, 
-hmm. and then take one rubber band and push them all on. So then I move all these bands over my loom like that. Oh my goodness, I think I got it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'll just hold here and wait for you to fix yours. I, you know, I don't know, Gia, I might be becoming the expert. I think I'm like the best loomer ever now. Then you're gonna take this and hook it onto the the other one. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, I might just leave it like this because that looks like look that looks like a little turkey. Yeah. Alright, oh my god. It actually gosh. does look like a little yeah. turkey. Yeah. Dee, 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 dee. We're turkeys and <gasps> you know, yeah, gobble 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 gobble. Okay, let's uh let's get finished before Thanksgiving comes and someone eats these turkeys. Okay, so you're gonna take this rubber band right here, hook it over to make a knot. Nice. There. It's done? Oh! Oh my you gosh! Can take it off. I'm scared. Okay, oh, Okay, let's show off. Check it out. Gia, Crafty Carol, probably the best rainbow loomers ever. High five me. Let's watch another craft. Well, hey, cool school kids. It's me, Crafty Carol, and I'm here today to show you how to make a snowflake. Now, you know what a snowflake is. It's those pretty little white things that fall from the sky in the wintertime. Maybe not if you're living in Florida, you don't know anything about it. But today I'm gonna show you how to make a snowflake out of paper, not out of actual snow. They're really small. So, let me just show you some examples of what you might expect to make. Oh, that's beautiful, it's got little butterflies. This one I love, it looks kinda like a little lace hat. And then this one, that's been, I don't like that one very much. So, how to make a snowflake, Carol? That's what you're asking me right now, I can hear you. So, you take a piece of paper and you fold it. Just fold a piece of paper, Carol? That can't be it. No, that's not it, silly. You gotta do more, you gotta fold the paper one more time. Okay, so your first two steps, you folded the paper, you fold it again. What's the third step? Oh, I don't know, fold it one more time, okay. Oh, my fingers hurt from folding. Not really, I'm just joking. And now, the next part, you gotta cut your paper. Now, I've got big kid scissors here, but it's okay because I asked my mom first. It's like a little pizza shape. In your... Carol, can it be that easy? You just fold paper and you cut shapes? Oh, I don't know, I guess it is. Let's see. I make a cut here and cut and cut. It's just going nuts on this snowflake and are we ready to open our snowflake? I think we are. Who's ready for a snow day? Look at that, I already like it. It's not a snowflake yet, but look at it. It looks like a little clown. He's got a big mustache, like Sylvester Stallone. You don't know who that is, but he has a mustache. And you open it again. Oh, look, there's two of them. And then, are you ready for the big reveal? Hold on to your hats, sit in your seats, fasten your seat belts, don't throw up. Ta-da! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's the most beautiful snowflake I ever made. Let's watch another craft. We've got a real fun treat of a craft for you today. I know I did a snowflake last, but this is also about snow. I love snow, don't you know? This one is a snow globe. Did you know that you can make your own? Well, I'm here to show you how. It's super easy. Let me show you the first one I ever made for myself. Interesting thing about this one, he's a little skinny robot man. I put him in here and it makes him look all fat. It's like he can't exercise in here because it's too small. Shake it up real good. Turn it upside down, swirl it around, turn it around. Oh, look at that. You know what, forget this snow globe. I'm gonna set this down because I don't want it to break. There you go, okay. One thing I really love about this craft is you can use things that you found in your own home. I just used a salsa jar, so I had some salsa for breakfast. Probably need some scissors at some point. You're gonna need some glue of some sort. I use this glue, don't look at that. I'm not endorsing any one type of glue. Ask your parents what kind of glue to use and have them help you. For your liquid, you're gonna, I just used some baby oil. And then you're gonna say, Carol, you need glitter for the snow. Not true, you can make your own glitter. Did you know that? No. All you need is some standard tin foil. Don't worry about it right in here. We talked about what we need. Let's get to making this craft. So you're just cutting some strips. You know my rule about scissors, you always ask your mom and dad and you always use the right pair. So one thing you want to do ahead of time, take the lid of your jar, take what you want to be in your snow globe. I chose this dog, his name's Russell. Oh hey, I'm just gonna go out and hang out in the snow, I love snow. 
He's glued on nice and tight. Want to make sure you give a lot of time for the glue to dry from this point on. It's so easy. It's like I might as well turn the camera off. It's like you know what to do. You're just gonna pour in your oil. So you want to make sure that you give yourself a little bit of room to work with. If you fill it up to the tip top, you put this in, oh, oil's gonna spill out. You gotta call BP. They won't take care of it. Who's ready for snow? Put a little in. Is that enough? Think that's enough? No, it's not enough. Put every last snowflake in the jar. Oh, are you ready to go in there, Russell? Oh, no. Oh, it actually is cold. Oh, but I love it. Oh. Okay, he's in there. Who's ready? Snowstorm. Oh, look. Oh. So there you have it, kids. Snow globe. Did you ever know it was so easy to make? I bet you didn't, but now you did. So next time you're looking for something super fun to do, just uh, come over to me and I'll show one to you.